Footage shows Sir Alex Ferguson, 80, being berated by loud-mouthed Man City fan. Sir Alex Ferguson was harassed by a Manchester City supporter following their side's dominant victory over Manchester United at the Etihad on Sunday. The former Red Devils boss, 80, witnessed his side succumb to a 4-1 loss in East Manchester before being filmed and mocked outside the stadium. One City fan continually shouted in the Scots' face as he made his way home, screaming, never in my lifetime. City, City, City. The supporter was referencing the words Ferguson made in 2009. When asked if the noisy neighbours would ever go into a game with United as favourites, the former Aberdeen boss responded, what time is it? I think it's time for me to leave, not in my lifetime. Since leaving the United dugout in 2013, City have won the league title five times, becoming one of the most unplayable teams in the world. And their guile was on show last weekend in their encounter with United. Kevin De Bruyne and Riyad Mahrez scored a brace each to make Jadon Sancho's equaliser a consolation, sending their closest rivals packing without a point. United were blasted for their second-half performance in which a number of pundits, including some former players of theirs, said that they threw in the towel in the second half, a period where they failed to register a shot. Do you think Man United can get top four? Let us know in the comments section. Legend Roy Keane raged on Sky Sports, there was players there, and we're watching it live, and I'm looking at them getting really frustrated watching it. I forgive mistakes, but you've got to run back. There are players, five or six players should never play for United again. Just shameful. Shameful that you can't run back, and you can't put your body on the line. Meanwhile, Gary Neville said, Manchester United's response to going 3-1 down has been embarrassing. 92% possession for City? They have given up. They are walking around the pitch. It's nowhere near good enough. There can be no complaints. City have been absolutely outstanding. But as a Manchester United fan, it's embarrassing.